Good morning, guys. What's happening? I have to give kudos to Draggy because look how nice their packaging is. I was quite impressed. And uh, not only that, I ordered this device and it uh, arrived almost immediately. East Rand Fuel and uh, Fuel and Diesel Injection Services, they actually sponsored this device for our channel. So, yeah, thank you, guys. Um, if you guys have any diesel motor requirements or repair work that needs to be done, go check them out. Diesel fuel injector requirements, they have machines that uh, fix them like this. <laughs> so we've got some friends at Bailey Cars that uh, recreated for IP4 that we uh, had a look at a few weeks ago is complete and ready to be shipped out. So we're gonna go and have a look at it before it uh, gets shipped out. So I'm really excited to see it because those cars are absolutely beautiful. And uh, I think we might get to go for a drive in it as well. So that's exciting. Now on the way there, let's have, a, let's have a test on this little drag system. I've never used it. Let's see how it, let's see how it works here. Okay, so you have to download the app. I could have sworn I had it. Hey, drag, 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 and on. Oh yeah, drag it. Okay, and then you go connect, connecting to Draggy. How does this work? Oh, there we go, check, a little light comes on. Fuck, as easy as that, eh? And then all you have to do is go uh, to your friend Charlie, who has a private road, and um, test it out. All right, so what you just do is push reset, and then you have to engage launch. to uh, Bailey Cars, we're going to check out the recreated Ferrari P4 and uh, we'll see you guys there. friends belly cars I love coming here because it's always such nice uh, nice toys here yeah? um, so yeah for those of you that, that didn't watch the last video belly cars are experts in recreating some of the most iconic cars specifically focused at the 24 hour mod um, so in the last video as you saw that we uh, highlighted the recreated Porsche 917 the recreated uh, Ferrari P4 um, and Peter and the Bailey team are busy recreating a Alfa Romeo Tipo 33 Stradale which is absolutely beautiful all right got the uh, belly GD40 we saw on the track, we did a video on the track with this car and they recreated Porsche 917, it's stunning. And uh, <laughs> look at this, okay, C1 Corvette, look at this bad boy, this is nice. It's amazing how all the cars that are in here, like the classic cars, look, they literally look brand new, like they've literally just come off the show and floor, it's like hectic. Let's look inside you. Have you guys ever been inside a C1 Corvette? So, first thing you'll notice is that it's actually really tight inside you. <laughs> but it's quite comfy once you're in. What do you guys think about the red and the white? Oh, it's a uh, seat with red station, looks pretty cool. You've got your uh, speed of miles. It's added to the fans. Hi, how's it? France, I'll show us the motor. Wow, that's cool. So it's like a modern day Corvette motor. Is this uh, LS1? I think it's an LS2, it's a 5.7 liter. Okay. She looks cool, eh? Apparently, it's been worked on. Oh, really? It's been played with. Yes. It's cool when we've got some modern technology like all the older cars, eh? Yes, I love it. Oh, yeah. But this is our original car, it's not a replica. Okay. But upgraded suspension, C4 suspension in the front running. Yeah. So, yeah, this owner does the Nisner hill climb with it. Oh, really? <laughs> Did it a few times. Nice. Is the body original, but the motor's new? Uh, I think the motor is new, but the body and the chassis is all original. Looks good, eh? Oh, yeah. Very nice. Just saying, like, all the cars that are in here, like, like specifically the classic cars, all look brand new. It's like they literally jump off the showroom floor. Yep. This uh, is really cool, though. I like, I love, I love new motors and all the cars. It's such a cool, such a cool thing to do. Let's try to stick uh, two, two turbos on the side there. <laughs> I don't think turbos high. Oh, really? Why? No. Yeah. Just too much clutter for us. Yeah. And superchargers? Yeah, yeah. The first, the first to be charged, yeah. 
I like, I like both. I'm a, I'm a bit of a slush when it comes to pods and uh, performance upgrades. <laughs> like, turbo sounds nice, it goes well, but when you work on them, I'm not Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, that's the C1 Corvette. Stunning. So, as you guys heard, original car with uh, upgraded motor. Classic. It's awesome. There's the LMP2 car that's uh, been built by early cars. If you guys didn't see this last time, this is really cool as well. Very, very cool. Yeah, push rod suspension. Nice. Cool. To another Porsche in very good condition. This is the Porsche I was talking about. Look at it. It, looks, it literally looks brand new. It's like stunning. I'm sure this is worth quite a few, quite a few pennies, as they say. Yeah, quick look inside you. Huh, look at that. I don't think new cars even look so good out the factory. It even smells new. <laughs> what the hell? I'm not the biggest fan of classic Porsches. I love new Porsches, but um, I mean, this, yeah, I'm, I can appreciate this. This looks really, really good. Look, we've got uh, another recreated Porsche 917 with huge, huge tires on the back. Oh, oh and two turbos. Okay, look at that. There's uh, turbo one, turbo two. This thing must be a ton of fun. How sick is that? Awesome, man. These things are really cool. Off that track, we did that track there. I'll put a link in the or card for the video at the end. Uh, we did a track there with one of these and with that Bailey GT40. The speed that these things actually carry on the track is like immense. It's insane. Um, let's go have a look at the Alpha. Yeah, look here. Wow. Looks a bit different to the last time we saw it. The body looks a bit more defined. These are cut out. Wheel arches are done. I think Peter was saying that uh, the wheels are fitted and offset's been completed as well. So, yeah, man. I can't wait to see what this one looks like when it's finished. For those of you that didn't see this Alfa Romeo in our last video, uh, this car has been completely recreated by this, uh, this toy car. So um, that includes you know, all proportions, the whole, the whole body design, the dashboard. Last time we had it in the dashboard. I'll put a card at the end of the video for you guys to go to that. Oh, go have a look at that video as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, that still blows my mind. It absolutely blows my mind. You, know, you take nothing from a toy car to make something like this. It's unbelievable. It's honestly unbelievable. And Peter and the Bailey team do it with extreme finesse. You guys have taken on their responsibility <laughs> and absolutely, you know, perfected it. Hold on, guys. All right, let's have a look at the Ferrari. Let's have a look at the uh, recreated Bailey P4. Recreated off the, the original Ferrari P4. This thing is insanely beautiful. Look at it, holy moly. Been uh, walking around it this morning, I can't, I can't take my eyes off it. It's like stunning. <laughs> when we saw it in the last video, it was um, sort of half complete and you can kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like. But geez, it is it's honestly beautiful. So, but, you know, why is this car so cool? It, it's, you know, it really was a big moment for Ferrari. Um, because this car was kind of the counter attack at the 4 GT40s that we're doing really well at uh, the 25 Le Mans. And um, 1967 Ferrari had a podium finish on the first, second, and third place in this or in the Ferrari P4s. So that makes it that makes it a really cool car, especially in the Ferrari fleet. And uh, I mean, besides that, it's probably or possibly one of the most beautiful sports cars or you know, classic supercars ever made. It's quite known around the world for for being extremely beautiful. It's got these really round sort of curvaceous lines that they used obviously to make the car slippery for aerodynamics but it's um it's turned out absolutely insanely beautiful the Bailey team have used a actual ferrari v12 motor for this recreation so we'll get the startup for you guys just now now the next question is how the fuck do you get in here okay, i'm gonna hop in here as seamlessly as i possibly can okay so that was um that was interesting <laughs> not too bad it's better than i was expecting but yeah look at the cockpit of the recreated ferrari p4 and uh, it's very tight in here, there's no doubt about that. But it's really cool though, this thing must be so sick to drive on the track. It's literally every, you know, everything's just focused at driving the car. And you know, this is, this is what I'm talking about with the, with the Bailey guys that they recreate these cars. I mean, they've actually gone as far as almost doing the logos on each switcher. 
if you can see that this this is a specific texture that is unique to Ferrari which they've recreated as well you got your Ferrari emblems on your speedo on your speedo that's cool too this is an angle at you as well very very cool man and if you want you can actually take the roof off you take those bolts out and uh and clip it here and you got yourself you got yourself convertible although i'm not a i'm not a tall guy but we might have to take the roof off <laughs> so if uh you know if you do have a bit of height and you think about buying one of these cars then just just yeah leave leave the roof around it's cool hopefully it won't rain to drive oh very nice yeah it's quite a solid drive it was good i have eh? to take it on the highway yeah be nice to <laughs> <laughs> all right so that was the first drive in the uh, recreated for a p4 and yeah what an experience she's like probably once in a lifetime for uh, for most people so i feel very fortunate right now <laughs> and uh yeah thank you france belly cars you guys are awesome as usual so just talking to france off camera now and you're saying that uh this whole car is pretty much fabricated you know, from scratch almost built by hand and it's quite ironic because the original car was you know built by hand. <laughs> So these guys are perfectly recreating these cars and uh, you know they have to kind of do everything from scratch from door hinges to you know these quick release leather clips to the actual you know mechanism that opens the door check out this little button here so that's really really cool the really fast thank, thank you go. yeah thank Pleasure. you that was awesome i hope you enjoyed it no it was awesome loved it man <laughs> yeah Definitely a uh, once in a lifetime experience, I think, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> many more to come, I hope. I hope so, yeah. We'll see you guys soon, maybe next week. What else yeah. <laughs> Next project would most likely be the 917 for India. So. Yes. So we created a Porsche 917 that's pushing some serious horsepower. What's pushing close to 1,000, yeah? 860, 890, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, like, so we have a sneak peek. There we go, boom. That's pretty cool, yeah. What do you guys think about this build? Leave a comment. So, so from a truck. <laughs> that's the side shot. This is proper. No, that's, that shouldn't break. That's such wood. <laughs> Heavy. Jeez. <laughs> what the hell? 
This is like 20 kilos. <laughs> so it's got to be strong to handle the 800 horsepower, eh? <laughs> That's one wheel. Started at 50. Can we? Let's do a quick, uh, quick start. Jeez, that sounds so sick. Sorry, what? <laughs> it's a bit loud. Just a sad, eh? Sounds nice, eh? This is, this is a Hemi Kramer, you said? Yes, it's a Hemi. But it's not a great engine. Yeah. This one is special. Everything's been done to it. All the internals. Oh, really, yeah? So this is obviously naturally aspirated 800 horsepower Hemi motor. What gearbox is that? Albans. Albans? Uh, Australian, yeah. Oh, there you go, okay. Six-speed straight cut sequential. Oh, nice. This must be a pleasure to drive there. So I'm going to come back in January and then uh, maybe we can go for a drive. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. I'm actually scared of it. It's, that's, that's a serious toy, eh? Oh, oh flipping yeah. out. It's on horsepower. This thing weighs a ton. Jeez, oh, yeah, I think you need to know what you're doing to put your foot flat, eh? I'm still scheming on a wheelie bar. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> we should take us to the drag strip and see what I can do. I wish you had a drag system in my car. We can, we can test it out. <laughs> the first, uh, first box that does like 0 to 100 in one second. And this is going to be street legal in India. Oh, sick. And here? <laughs> we'll probably get into trouble with it. Is it, yeah? <laughs> well, the laws, the laws are a bit different there. How's this, um, this intake manifold? Jeez, like, what is, is this? Did you guys engineer that or is that no, something else? That was specially made for him. Okay. So it's not part of Hemi or whatever, it's just... Uh, I'm not sure this car, the engine was built in America by some company. I don't even know. Oh, really? Okay. Nice, man. All right, cool. All right, Franz, thanks again. No, pleasure. Well, uh, we'll see you back in January, most likely. We only open 11th of January. Okay, awesome. I'll see you on the 12th. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come have some fun again. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Hit the subscribe button. We've got some cool stuff planned ahead. Yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Sweet. Enjoy.